It's Cash Color Camp. It's a high level of conversation on live hip hop daily TV. And I got um two of the three of my of um of I of I love C A U in the building, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my man Manu, talk to I shout out to Will who's out the, who's on the other side of the, the 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 mics this round, man. But I got my guys in the building, man, because not only did y'all bring Fabo with us, man, but y'all brought a super dope event that's actually coming to the city this week. So um let's talk about that first. Um talk about what's happening down at Clark this weekend. Well, I start off on yes, Tatu. Yes, I'm an alumni of Clark Atlanta University, 93. Y'all, class. Actually, I didn't know that. I didn't use. I didn't know you was a Clark Atlanta oh, alum. Come on, man. man. AUC all day, man. Yeah, and uh, so my brother, my new, he's also an alumni of CAU, okay. and he's been doing things to give back to CAU since he since he left CAU. So can yeah, we talk been, about what we got coming up? Yeah, we've been giving back to Clark for uh, over a decade. So we're about 12, 13 years now. Mm -hmm. You know, um, especially homecoming. That's when we come together. And we all show our support and our love for our alma mater. Okay. That's what's up, man. So when so y'all met at, at, at Clark, obviously? No, no, no. I met okay. this guy on some other shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? But we just we just rock with each other. You know what I mean? I like the way yeah. he do business and he like the way I talk shit to people when yeah. he do business. So that's how <laughs> that's how we linked up. But uh we both I found out later he called me to book an act for CAU's homecoming. Okay. And I said, well, why don't we do this? And he was like, well, let's do this. And I was like, well, let's just do this. And next thing you know, money, together like money that. Next made. thing you know, on this Friday, October the 18th at Believe Music Hall, we have the alumni party slash concert. Lil Duval will be performing live. Young uh -huh. Bloods will be performing live. Fabo will be performing live. <laughs> Pastor Troy will be performing live. Uh -huh. This is going to be a live event. Crime yeah. Mob is in the building. Jeez. My new man, he's a genius, man. He's a mad yeah. genius. He, as you can see, he's very humble. So I got to do most of the talking, but he's a genius. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it came together. We were doing parties. Okay. You know, everybody doing parties, alumni parties. And um, there's an undergrad party and concert. So we just came together like, man, let's, let's celebrate, you know, in the way we like to celebrate. So, you know, everybody loves a great concert. And so the idea came about. And man, we got together. We got a great cast, a great lineup. Yeah, man. And it's gonna be a good event, man. What made y'all pick? Uh, you know, it's, it's almost like a mix of Atlanta. You got old Atlanta, mid Atlanta, and, and and somewhat youngish Atlanta, but not that young Atlanta. All on the same bill, man. Like, what made y'all pick these acts? You know, saying from the Fabos and the, the all the way down to Lil Duvals and Crime Mob. So it's really like a celebration of our times. You mm -hmm. know, like the different the different generations. You know, we we got somebody for everybody. Yeah. And these are just all the artists, all the songs that we love throughout our. Year. Years there, mm -hmm. you know everything that we celebrated, and, and man, it's gonna be awesome to see everybody on one stage and one night and, and, and one time. So yeah. that's where we're going. Absolutely, and and it is a party. Like they gonna turn up, we gonna <laughs> give you a show, yeah. but it's a party. We gonna kick it. You Bro, know, I'm I mean? nervous. Like when yeah. you hit when, when when you hit stilettos in the club and like knuck if you buck, it's gonna get lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's real like, HBCU business. Yeah, and man. have them be on time. Cause I heard when Meg was late last week, it was it was an issue at the A3C. Man, you got to get these ladies prepared to be on yeah. stage because the ladies who come to see them are ready to see them. Absolutely. At that moment. Absolutely. <laughs> At that well, moment. You, you know, also, not only do we have Believe Music Hall jumping off on Friday night, my new does the whole weekend. I love CAU does the whole weekend. This guy's had the biggest tent at the tailgate for the past, what, 10 years? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. This, this Saturday, we got the biggest tent again at the tailgate at the actual football game that Saturday. Live, got man. a stage as well. Yeah. Talk yeah. to them about yeah, the stage we're giving away, going on. We're going to surprise everybody at the tailgate, and we're doing an impromptu concert at the tailgate. You okay. know, it hasn't been done before. You know, we did something else, man. We just like keep giving back, keep trying to let everybody enjoy themselves at our events. And now, wait, when you say an impromptu concert, like I mean, I know you man, can, got, you can't give us got, no details, got, yeah, you know, but you know how we do it, though. Yeah. 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 You know how we <laughs> get out. We got some more surprises, some more talent coming through that nobody gonna expect to be there, and they all showing love, and we go bless it. All right, what, they, what they're not telling y'all is I might grab the mic. So, you know, be, look, be on the lookout, hey, man. Yeah, I might do it. Listen, do it. listen. listen. Shout out to Brawley Hall, too, because that's yeah, where I stay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout too. out to Brawley. Yeah. And shout out to the beautiful ladies at Myrna Hall. You know, y'all know who you are. Yeah. You know, and, and that's a good, that's yeah. a good question. Pfeiffer. Yeah. You know, so this past weekend, I went to Morris Brown. My sister where? went to Morris where? Brown, so I went down there for her homecoming. I, I miss my own. I'm John C. Smith alum, so I miss my own. Charlotte. Yes, yeah, Charlotte, of course, okay. bro. What are some of your favorite memories of being at Clark Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, saying prior to right now, like what were some of your favorite memories? Well, you know, most of us come from um, you know all over the country, man. It's real, it's a real melting pot. Yeah, like Clark, you know, it's not really like you know some state schools you go to. Most people from that state, you know, everybody from somewhere different. So the people that I met, the experiences, the all the you know all the differences that people that I met. That's that was the main thing that stuck out to me coming from. I'm from Chicago, right. Chicago Heights, Illinois, originally. 
And so, man, just getting down here, seeing somewhat different. I'm a, I'm a real neighborhood guy. So I grew up in the same neighborhood my whole life. And so when I got down here and saw, got to Atlanta, man, first I saw Atlanta. Yeah. Had no idea really where I was coming to because I, I had an opportunity to get down here. But, man, that's the main thing, man. Then you get to see real black people that are talking positive, positive things and, and, and really, you know, pushing you to do better. And then, you know, all the networking opportunities that come through, coming through the AUC. Even the people, the alumni, man, you got we got some great alumni doing great things. Definitely. And so, definitely. You know, definitely. man, that's what really helped me out since my matriculation and through school as well as me growing in Atlanta, period, you know. Yeah. What about I, you, man? What's some of your favorite? I got to say this, man. You know, my roommate was from Chicago, by the way. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? 35th, the low, he used to say the low, I'm the from low the low end, end yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> one of the things I, I got to talk about because, you know, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. So I lived on campus at Clark in 1993. I was a freshman. Okay. And like it was only like three of us, so I had to deal with so much shit because Outcast wasn't out yet. You see what I'm saying? For, the, for so those of y'all who know, you know what Atlanta I'm saying. Cool, yeah. Outcast wasn't out yet. It wasn't Atlanta. So I had to Outcast deal with like I used to have to check it. niggas all the time. Like nigga, if you wasn't cool in New York, you're not cool in Atlanta. Don't come down here with that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, like, like for real. But I will say this: like I had a conversation with my cousin the week before I started school, and he was like, "Man, you be." Some bad. I was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from Decatur. That's what we do. Okay. He was like, but when you get to college, it, it's going to be on a whole nother level. I was like, well, nigga, you've seen the girls that's been coming through the crib lately? Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, when you get to college, man, the first day at school, this is my most memorable moment at Clark. The first day at school, I'm standing under a tree. I see a girl standing about a hundred yards away from me with a cowboy hat on. Yeah. I whisper over to my best friends, I'm going to marry her. Right? Just looked at her. I'm going to marry her. Three kids, I mean, two kids later, you feel what I'm saying? I married her. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just saw her across the field. And the way she was dressed in the cowboy hat, I said, I'm going to marry her. Man, black school love stories, man. Yeah, and so that's my <laughs> most memorable moment. They're your you most memorable I mean? moment. Yeah, that's a lifetime moment, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's what's up. But, you know, those are the stories that you do hear a lot, especially coming from black colleges. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, you know, the network and you know, none of that stuff. Like, you, you walk away with lifelong like people, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. From whether it be best friends that you still know to this moment, like mine, my friend Aaron James, she was my co-editor at Johnson C. Smith Student News. That's my best friend to this moment. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like that. Like, I definitely understand that vibe. But you're not from Charlotte. You're from New York, I'm right? from Boston. Boston. Yeah, okay. man. I, matter of fact, going to going from Boston, going to Charlotte, it was almost like, you know, I don't know, like, if you're watching Wu-Tang right now, you'll get what I'm saying. I'm watching it. You'll get what I'm saying. When you was growing up up north in the '90s, right? If you was fucking up in any kind of way, you got sent to North Carolina. Like almost, it was okay. almost like a reform school. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, like the goat got sent to Earl, exactly. Earl Manigault yeah. Sent his ass so my dad is from is from Kinston. So that was always a threat. We went to send okay. somebody down to North Carolina. <laughs> like I had like four or five people, kids on my, my my street ended up down in North Carolina. So when that was when I told him I was going to Charlotte, like it was almost like um. It was like, you, know, you seen, you know, on Black Panther. It was almost like everybody just came out the room, like, let's lift him up. He's, okay. going, he's going okay. there and he doesn't have to be forced. Okay, you know what I got it. Right, right, right. I got to yeah. tell you, I, was, I lived in Charlotte my 11th grade year. Did you? And just, Charles a different just, city. just for my 11th grade year, it's a yeah. different city. And I was going to go to Johnson C. Smith. Ben, I yo, came back home my senior year and I was like, I'm, I'm staying right here. Bro, Smith, yeah. Smith meant so much to me as far as, um, you know, again, going from Boston, like I, I understood racism hard body. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we got our black pockets, but they got their white pockets. But when you get to a black college, it's like... Like you say, not only are you meeting people from all across the, the, the country, all across the all across the country, but you starting to see people from different walks of life that you never even thought about. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like it was matter of fact, dipping back and forth from between Atlanta, between um, Charlotte to going down and hanging out with my peoples at Morehouse and Spellman's and Clark's. First time I'm sorry, like actually meeting meeting young black millionaires in the making. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. people like that. And it's like it takes your mindset out of I was just mad at paying Blue Hill Ave for the longest. You feel me? Like, and that's what I feel like black colleges definitely adds to you. Wait a minute, the movie Blue Hill Ave, that's Boston? Yeah. Love that movie. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah love that movie. Yeah. I, I, I want to say this, though. Like, you know, like my, what Manu was talking about, the relationships you forge at college, man. Like, I, I, I've had the luxury of traveling all over this world, and it seems like every state I go to is somebody from the AUC in that motherfucker. Oh, and man. they're doing mm -hmm. good, and yeah. it's always a network, and yeah. we can build off each other. Like, yeah. so that's the other thing that you yeah. got to take away from it, man. The relationships yeah. that you make back then 
they still carry on. The only thing I don't really feel about black colleges is I don't know what school football teams ever be winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be going to homecoming games. I'm like, right, hey, right. who the hell winning these games, <laughs> but though? You know, what, though? you know what, though, Mecca? What? People never know which black schools are the best, but if you check the NFL. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we're in there. HBCUs yeah. put people in the NFL that stay yeah, in the NFL. Let me tell you, I, I hate saying this, being you know that I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a Smith, yeah. I'm a Smithite, but yeah, um, North Carolina A&T, they have a, they have a pension of putting players in the game. They the had game. a good basketball yeah. team. Oh, yeah, too. That, too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Smith yeah. got a good basketball. The girls' team was always ill. Our girls' team was always fired. Man. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, hey, A&T got a great engineering program. Of course. You know, they got a lot of split. I, that's what I majored in. My, degree, oh, my degree is in electrical engineering. And so uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit, too, man. Yeah, and A&T got a great engineering They program. do, man. I'm trying to get A&T. A&T need to go on board and start teaching them boys how to grow some cannabis and grow some, some hemp, man. We hey, got too man. many A&T schools in, in these many HBCUs. Too But you know what? They gave, Fort they gave Fort yes. Valley. They gave Fort Valley the right. Applaud that. Fort Applaud Valley. that. Yeah, yeah. right Shouts out to Fort yeah. Valley. Yeah, Fort They gave Fort Valley, Valley, Valley right the right. So, yeah. I mean, it seems like we have some of them. It makes it easier. Or is it because of the land? I think, you know, I, I say the same thing about, you know, North Carolina has the most HBCUs, period. You know what I'm saying? Does like, it? Oh, period. I didn't know that. Every, every city, Elizabeth State, we got, uh, yeah, it's just. I, I didn't want, know that. You throw a rock, you're going to walk into an HBCU okay. in North, Carol in North okay. Carolina. But I feel the same way. Like, we got so many. It's like, we time, we, it's really time for us to pull this power. You know what I mean? It's not Absolutely. really looking into these worlds. Like, I love how FAMU teaches law, law cannabis law and policy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Law policy. I love how they teach that. Like, let's start building, getting into these levels, man. Absolutely. Yeah, well, let's get Clark into that, man. <laughs> my, my new, listen, my new is the man to do that. That's what I'm talking to. Yeah, yeah I mean, let's do this, know. man. You got the biggest tent down there. Like, can, can we talk about some, some nah, weeds? Nah, man, here? hey, hey, you know, I'd love to get Clark into agriculture. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's, it's huge. It's huge, huge, yeah. huge market. We all know the upside to that business, to that yes. lane. I mean, hopefully Clark will take, us, take that stance. Yeah. Absolutely. And I want to say this, man. Like, I, I just got to go back to this concert on Friday. Yes, sir, I was about to. Mecca. Like, it, it's the alumni. And like he said, like, when I was coming through college, Pastor Troy was just just dropping shit. Mm -hmm. Young Bloods was just dropping shit. Oh, All these groups was just oh, forming, yeah. and oh, Atlanta yeah. was like that was forming. our soundtrack. You know man. what I mean? Because when Outkast came out my sophomore year, the summer going into sophomore year. Yeah. So when I got back my sophomore year, everybody was like, "Oh, y'all cool now." <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But then they spawned the artists like. Young Bloods, yes, like sir. Pastor Troy, yeah. and Lil Duval just came. Lil Duval just shot the world, so he's gonna set. He's gonna shut it down oh, yeah. on Friday night. Yeah, Is he closing? Right it, tell me he's closing. Yeah, he's closing. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. but you know what? Yes. You know what though? When, when me and my new and Will was trying to figure out, and Coach shout out to Coach trying to figure out this lineup, it's hard for niggas to go behind Fabo, I, and I don't care who you are, and mm. I ain't just saying that because he's here. Yeah. It's hard yeah. for we we'll, we'll talk about everybody is waiting. On it's favor. hard yeah, for niggas yeah. to go yeah. on. I, 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 I text you that this morning. I said, bro, everybody talking about favor. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, niggas, yeah. niggas is ready to see some favor. <laughs> man, everybody's talking. And about it's hard favor. to go on after him yeah. during the show. So we yeah. we kind of struggle with that a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh yeah. We but uh, the whole weekend, man, it's gonna be exciting. And not only that, um, Saturday. Like I said, we got the game, biggest tent, the tailgate. After yeah. that, we're doing the after party at KISS with. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we're doing the after party at KISS, uh, the after tailgate party. Um, sorority, then, fraternity. Yeah, sorority, fraternity. It's going to be the reunion party, the official reunion party for all the 10- and 20-year sorority Word, man. and fraternity reunions. And, um, I mean, man, this is going to be a great event. It's gonna be a big turnout, no, so, and that's what I mean. You say you're taking over the whole weekend, so there's gonna be stuff going on. Going so on Thursday Friday, we have a, a welcome home party. Welcome okay. to Atlanta. So most of the alumni, you know, between us and our circles, man, uh, you know, just everybody that comes into town who hasn't been here, so they all gonna come out, and that's gonna be a great event. And you are gonna be out of town Friday. Bro. We have yeah, the concert. Man. When you getting uh, yeah, back, man? Because we here, we all weekend. We Sunday too. Sunday morning. Yeah. Sunday morning. What we doing something? Yeah. What we doing on Sunday? So uh, one of our partners on a shout out to Shyst, um, uh Terry, Terry, Terry Williams. Yeah, he owns Bonfire. What up, Terry? Oh yeah, we doing Bonfire. Yeah, so we gonna do Bonfire Sunday night. Clark and Lena, what's it, so y'all bring homecoming to Bonfire? Bring a homecoming to bring Bonfire. Bring a homecoming Lady, to Bonfire, man. man. Lady man, I had to pull up. You, you know, know what I think I, about bonfire, bonfire lit. Always. I've heard, I've always heard, man. So um, one more time before we before we get out of here and bring Fabo on, man, let people know if they want to how they can get tickets for all these events, how they can just keep up with y'all and let and and keep keep track of everything that's going on this week. So to get tickets to the event, please go to iheartcau.com. 
um, I H E A R T C A U dot com, and um, you can find everything you need right there. Everything, and we got some dope events coming up. So y'all check out Kiss Ultra Lounge because we got some real dope events. We we about to start doing these Fridays. Starting October 25th with Bloody J and Block 5 and Blazer. It's going to go crazy. So all these new artists out there, all these independent artists, major artists, we're doing single release and album release parties on Fridays. Every Friday we will be doing one. And it starts October the 5th. Right. So come rock with us, man. Friday night, Believe Music Hall. Saturday, Tailgate at the Game. Kiss Ultra Lounge for the after party. And Sunday, Bonfire ATL. Word, man. Sound like a party. Brother, I appreciate y'all coming through. You know, we gotta get we gotta get you one for a whole nother interview one day. Man. I mean, we're gonna you do that, man. We're gonna do that. We we putting some things, yeah. putting some things. Oh, yeah. oh and yeah. smoking and joking is back on the air November the 5th. November the 5th, the whole gang is back together. Hey man, we got some shit. Boy, listen. It's Look, about we, to go. We got, we got it's about to go crazy, be, be, huh? Before y'all go back on for another season, man, we we gonna have to chop up. Maybe have have y'all come on here. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that has yet to happen. But you came on us. Yeah, yeah, we, we had did. a ball. We, we had came. a blast, yeah, bro. We had a ball. Well. I ain't gonna lie. Right, we we'll do, do it. So yeah. November fifth, we kick it off. So you just let me know, man. I'm always available. I like I gotta say this to you, brother, because when we started smoking and joking. Smoking and joking and cash color cannabis was running parallel. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And I've always respected what you do. I continue appreciate to respect what you do, pushing the culture forward, and we appreciate that. Man. My boy, appreciate that, man. Sure. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving. Man. No doubt, appreciate y'all. And that's Cash Color Campus, a high level conversation on live hip hop daily TV. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do these pictures.